<laughs> Today I thought it'd be nice if I just sat down and showed you guys all the things I got from Yesel in between the last haul video and now. I actually don't have everything that I ordered. I ordered a lot of things. Some things I lost, some things I had to return. I don't really have like a set plan so I think I'm just gonna kind of wing it and go through the list. I took screenshots of like my order history so I'm just gonna go in the order that it shows up on the list and I'll try to show you guys everything that I got and yeah it's gonna be a fun time. I guess to start off I can just talk about the things that I'm wearing now. So I got this white tank top just like a really basic tank top it is slightly see-through but it's not that big of an issue and um it's pretty light it feels really good on the skin it's like perfect for like summer um just to wear and i'm also planning on getting the black one i actually got this tank top to wear with something else i got off of yesstyle which is this um plaid crop top jacket kind of thing it's plaid and it's in these like kind of different shades of brown and beige it's a really light flannel um i've been wanting like a cropped kind of like outerwear jacket thing for a really long time and this looks really really cute so i usually wear these together and i pair with some dark blue jeans and while we're on the topic of outerwear i have this really cute pink corduroy jacket it's pretty long it goes past my shorts it's very big very oversized i really love the color when my hair was pink it used to match perfectly i usually wear it with like a white top and black bottoms either just like leggings or jeans and probably even like jean shorts too i wore this to prelude new york so you might have seen it there i love that this is like corduroy this material um, it's not too thick, not too thin. I think it's just um, perfect for like autumn, spring weather. And the next thing on my list is actually um, the Petty Peta Sugar Twinkle Liquid Glitter. I've actually been using this a lot, a lot, a lot. Uh, whenever we go to competitions, this is like the main thing that everyone asks to borrow. It looks like this. This is what the brush looks like. The brush is tinted because I usually apply on top of like eyeshadow and stuff. I used it today actually um, under my eyes. That's where I normally place this. And then sometimes I'm feeling really fancy then I'll put it like on my lids also. The glitters in it are like of different sizes and they're hexagonal. So you can kind of see. I got this mascara fixer from Etude House. So this is what it looks like. It's really scratched up because it's been in my bag for a really long time. You apply it after you curl your lashes and before you put on mascara. And it's supposed to make your eyelashes like stay curled. I don't know how effective this is, but I do think it's definitely better than without it. It comes in this spoolie type brush. And the fixer is actually kind of like white gray translucent so then when you put it onto um, your lashes, it does leave behind like residue but yeah i've been using this a lot if i put on makeup i wear it um basically every single day and so that's this mascara fixer another thing that i got is the innisfree no sebum mineral pact and it looks like this it's in this really pretty greenish bluish color this shows up in the compilation vlog i believe which has also yet to come out comes with a mirror i apply this to my face after i apply um my foundation and concealer so I kind of use it to set it in. I'm not 100% sure if that's what it's supposed to be used for, but that's what I use it for. And then this next item is also like a holy grail item for me. It looks like this. It's super, super pretty. This one is a pink glitter and this one is kind of iridescent. The glitters in here are really similar to the ones in here, but this is just like more packed. So I usually use this kind of brush and um i pick some up and i place it on the outer corners of my eye and then this one it's pink glitter but um it's also um shifts between multiple colors i usually use pink eyeshadow and then so i would just dip my finger in this and then smooth it around for that extra glitter and like shine first the pink one that's what it looks like and then the glitters are just like chunks of glitter so they look like this I also got, I haven't even opened it yet. This is my second one 
and this is the first one i haven't even used up the first one yet but i got a second one because uh i know i'm gonna like eventually run out so i wanted to be prepared what it is is just your basic concealer but it's really really nice it has like really really good coverage Ooh, look at that yeah i bought this eyelash curler it comes in a pack of two so this is the big one and there was like a small one that comes with it i actually don't really know how to use this one like i have difficulty using it because i can't seem to like get my lashes through so i actually um use the small one a lot but then at Seyal, I think I lost it. I'm thinking of repurchasing this just for the sake of getting the smaller eyelash curler because that one is really useful for like when you want to curl like the inner and outer corners. I also got this cushion. This is the first one and I finished this one. So then I got a second one and I actually already finished this one. So then I have a third one yeah <laughs> this is the first um cushion foundation that i've used and i really like cushion foundations like it's so like easy to just like take it out and just like pat it on versus like having to deal with like liquid and using a brush and all of that the ones that i got off of YesStyle are actually in number 23. the old ones i got were number 23 but then um this is number 21 and this is the one that i have on right now i went up lighter a shade in hopes that it would fit my skin tone better and i think it actually does work a little bit better for me if you can kind of see that so that's this and i guess while we're sitting down i can show you guys the other like jewelry and accessories i got because i got like an okay amount um so first we can look at these butterfly earrings it came with one, two three four five different earrings so i have two on here and then there's another one here which is a really small star and then there's actually another one they're smaller metal um butterflies and i used to wear those every single day until one day i lost one of them yes yeah, so i was really sad when i lost it because i've been wearing those for a really long time i got other earrings also i wanted some gold earrings so i got these these are what they look like they have little flowers and they're dangly and they're actually like rings i won't put them on right now because um i don't want to go through the hassle but these are what they look like yeah these are really pretty and then um for size squad i also got new earrings and these are pretty popular because um a lot of my friends have them also they're just these dangling pearl earrings so they look like that I put these on whenever I want to feel pretty and dress up. So those are these earrings. Alright, now let's finally go back into the clothes realm. I won't be trying on all of these because there's a lot of things and I honestly don't know if I can find all of them right now. Like I don't know where they all are, but I will still be showing you everything that I got or um trying to show you everything that I got. Next up is the whoosh high-waisted washed loose fit jeans they're in this cream off-white type of color it has um actually two buttons here you can either hook it here or you can hook it here so you can adjust um the waist the buttons have this like very cool like design on them i find that very interesting I like these pants a lot. I wear them a lot, usually with like um, a black top. I really like the fit of these. They're not tight around um, the ankles at all and they actually fall really nicely. Um, it's a little bit big for me, so I do have to like roll up the bottoms a little bit. Those are these pants. There's also this top, it crosses like that. Um, it's in this really pretty blue color. It's ribbed. So you can see these lines and it has lettuce trim on the bottom, which is really, really cute. And then you, um, it has strings, so you tie it around your waist. So that's this one. Uh, we also have the Boulevard V-neck ribbed top in pink. It's kind of confusing to wear, to know like where to put your head and where to put your arms. But once you figure it out, it's really, really cute. This is what it looks like. Um, so it's V-neck. But it's not too revealing because there's this inside which is attached it's really cute i really like um the kind of cross thing in the front it tightens around the sleeves 
and also around the waist area. It's also not very cropped and if you know me, I really like wearing cropped things so I usually like tuck this in a bit to make it cropped. So there's that option for you. And it's in a really, really pretty color, this pink color. I also went through a phase of really wanting black tops because I didn't have a lot of black tops. So I kind of went crazy and I got a lot, a lot of black tops. So um, first off is this one. It's pretty tight fitting and long sleeve. The sleeves are pretty tight fitting too. What's really special about it is that it has these two straps that cross in the front. I wear this relatively frequently also. And next up is this top. It is also ribbed. You can see the line kind of going down. It has lace lining the sleeves and also the hemline. So that kind of adds a little touch to it. It's pretty deep because it is a v-neck and you can unbutton and button it up but I will say that these buttons are not very secure so like make sure you wear like um something underneath if you're going to be moving around a lot in these or else the buttons will pop open so something to be careful with all right next up we have the Monroe cross strap lace bustier top so this is what it looks like and it has not one strap but two straps coming off of each side and they cross in the back it's laced and it has padding in the front and i got this to put under this mesh top it goes kind of up high on the neck and it has these like dot stashes all along and so i got these to wear together and this was my sty squad outfit for girls k-pop this year that's what they look like together. Here is another black top that I got, which is also one that you tie. It has lettuce trim on the top and also on the bottom and all along. It's actually attached, but it's made to look like a two-piece. And originally there were supposed to be strings attached to the end of these that you tie together. Well, uh, I put it in the wash and then the strings, it just like, disintegrated <laughs> i don't know what other way to use so i ended up just cutting them off and now i use a little um black earring or like a pearl earring or something like that to just attach the two together and i just wear it like that this is a set it's a long sleeve plain t-shirt and a camisole so you get this camisole top and then on top of that you get this off shoulder type of top and the thing is, this is really, really thin. Like, really, really thin. So, like, you can see the outlines of, like, everything that you wear underneath. So, that's something to be mindful of. And I don't really like the way that this looks under here. I don't know why. Like, in the model, it looks really nice. While me, it doesn't look that great. So, um, I usually don't wear this. And I wear this on its own. I also got the Monroe Long Sleeve Panel Top in green. It looks like this. It's long sleeve. This neck area is really large, so it hangs off shoulder on one side. And it's really pretty. It just has these like little panels and it's in green and pink. And um, the overall color is like kind of like cream. These sleeves are really, really long, but they kind of open up at the um, ends. And uh, it's really short, guys. Like when I lift up, you can like see everything underneath but it's really really cute every time i wear this i get so many compliments on it and um one of my friends she really liked it so i got her a similar one it was the trisica long sleeve paneled crop top and i got it in gray and i got her a larger size um so it wouldn't be as cropped but it's basically like the same thing as this but the colors are in like um this periwinkle blue um gray and white and like a darker gray I also got um, this Zepto Pointel cropped knit cardigan in blue. It looks like this. Maybe you've seen it around. It's really, really light. It comes in this really, really pretty baby blue color. Um, I usually wear it buttoned up and with like a white top underneath and usually like blue jeans. So that's that one. 
This is another pair of pants that I got. They're also straight leg jeans and it's in this gray color. It's not black. It's in this washed gray. Similar to the white pair of jeans, it also has two buttons here so that you can cinch in the waist. And I really, really love these jeans. I wear them all the time. And yeah. I'm trying to figure out what else I haven't shown you because there's so much now. Um, oh, there's this necklace. It's a butterfly with like rhinestones. I wear this a lot. It's in silver. I also bought these Nature Republic Blackhead Clear Nose Pack. This set comes in seven pieces. I bought it because the packaging looks really pretty. I don't know if there is an effect because I've only used it once. So I can't really say anything about it, but I got this. I think I might have showed you guys this in another video, but I broke it. So then I got a replacement. It's also silver. It looks like this. Isn't it so pretty? I switched between wearing these two. I kind of want to get a gold necklace or a rose gold necklace because I have a lot of silver necklaces, but not many gold or rose gold. I got the Mo Mount couple matching plaid pajama pants. And I got that um, for a Christmas present. So I don't have it with me, but they look really nice. And I've seen her wear it a few times. So there's that. I got the lemongrass cropped cardigan in a light green color so it looks like this i have the same one in white but i really liked it and i wanted more like green clothing i really like the color and i really like the cardigan that's why i went and got another one so that's this cardigan i also wanted more sweatpants so i ordered this pair of sweatpants in this really pretty light blue color but when it came i didn't like it because it looked nothing like what it looked like in the picture like whether it was like quality material length fit like none of it looked right so i ended up returning it uh another one the polygato high waist distressed wide leg jeans i think my friend has them so i got them and when they came i don't know like the sizing was kind of weird only one of the pant legs had like a rip and it was in the upper thigh area and it was just not what i expected so i ended up returning that as well i got a set of five pairs of these white socks from mimi U. i'm really glad i got them because i don't have that many white socks but they're really useful for like dance and stuff so um i have these with me and i've been wearing them really really often and they're kind of thin and kind of go up a bit on your ankle but yeah i would recommend these socks i'll probably buy more of them in the future too I bought another black top. It's the Wick Prom Sweetheart Neckline Long Sleeve Crop Top. This was Fiona's dummy fit. If you guys watched the Style Squad vlog, I think I've only worn it once or twice, but I've really liked it. It has like a kind of box neckline. Yeah, and it's also cropped. Uh, there's one last black top that I got, and it's like a roughly black off shoulder long sleeve type of top. I have it somewhere in this room, but I have no idea where it is. The material wasn't exactly what I expected it to be. It feels kind of like papery. It's really, really thin. I don't really know how to describe it, but you can go look at it in that video. But I still really like it because I really like the style that it is. It has like elastic around this area so you can adjust the sleeves however much you like. And it's really roughly and billowy and relatively cropped. So I really like that top as well. I don't know where it is. I need to go find it. And this is the very, very, very last item that I'm going to be showing you guys today. Which is this hoodie sweater. This is what it looks like. It's so, so pretty. In the front, on the left, you can see it says... Alaska Cruise and it has this really cute um print of like the mountains and in the back it says the same thing but an even bigger print and it has some words on the bottom and yeah I see this like all over your style literally all over my friend has like a similar one just like without the hood and in gray it was pretty oversized but I think because I put it in the wash it shrunk a little bit so it's not as oversized on me anymore which is uh it makes me kind of sad but this is so 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 comfortable it's like the ultimate girl brand fit if you guys know what i mean and yeah it's very thick and very good quality i love this a lot and the color is just so pretty it's so pretty okay so those are more or less all the items that i've gotten off of yes 
since the last time I filmed the haul. It was really fun sitting down and looking through all the things that I've gotten over the past few months. So I hope you guys enjoyed it too. Thank you guys for watching until the end of this video. If you want to see more hauls, more Yes Style stuff, and just like content from me in general, make sure you remember to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye!